Hello guys and welcome back to Lead Logics. This is the minimum changes to make an alternating binary string problem from Lead Code. This is a Lead Code easy and the number for this is 1758. So we are given with a string in the problem. There's a string S consisting of only characters 0 and 1. That is, it is a binary string. And in one operations, we can change either the 0 to 1 or the 1 to 0. And uh, we have to make the string alternative and what uh, alternating string is uh, like if it starts with 0 so it should be in this sequence 0 1 0 1 and if it starts with 1 then it should be 1 0 1 0 so no two consecutive characters should be same so that is what we have to make out of the string and we have to tell the number of operations needed to make the string alternating and in one operation we can only perform a single character to 0 to 1 and 1 to 0 so let's see through an example suppose we have 0 1 0 0 so if we change the last character to 1 the string becomes alternating yes so this is a possible answer and uh, this is the actual solution so let's see how we are going to do so what we are going to do is that we are going to consider two cases once when the input string is starting with 0 and second when the input string is starting with 1 so if the input string is starting with 0 we will count the number of possible flips that we need to make and if the count starts with 1 uh, that means the character starts with 1 we'll count the number of flips in that case and whichever is minimum we can return that so for this example 0 1 0 0 uh, we have initialized the count of 0 with uh, we have, will be initializing count 1 starting with 0 with 0 and count 2 that will be for the string starting with 1 as 1 because the string start the string starts with 0 so we need to flip this bit also if we want to start with 1 so that's why we have initialized with 1 and count 1 is 0 because this is already 0 so we need not flip it so ok so this is the initializing of the counts now let's loop through the characters now for character 1 uh, for starting with 0 we need not to flip because after 0 comes 1 and this is the uh, correct character that should be com coming after that but for uh, starting with 1 so if it starts with 1 so the next character is also 1 so we need to flip this also so the count 2 will be added by 1 so it becomes 2 now at index 2 index 2 we have already have 0 and for starting with 0 again we need not to flip it because the string is becoming 0 1 0 so the count 1 uh, remains same 0 and for starting with 1 we need to flip it again because we have 1 0 and it should be 1 and it is 0 so we have flipped that also so the count becomes 3 now for the last character for the string starting with 0 we need to flip it because it will be 0 1 0 1 and it is 0 and it should be 1 so we have count incremented count count 1 becomes 1 and there is no need to flip uh, this 0 for st string starting with 1 because uh, the string is becoming 1 0 1 0 so that's why we need not flip it and the count becomes count 2 becomes 3 count 1 is 1 as already told starting with 0 it will be in 1 operation starting with 1 it will be in 3 operations so we have to return the minimum out of these and we and we have returned the minimum that is 1 we will return 1 and this is the possible answer and this is how we are going to solve this so let's come to the code section but before that do like the video share it with your friends and subscribe to the channel if you are new to the channel so First of all, we'll be taking the starting character. So character at index zero equal to s dot 
dot char at at zero. Okay, we have taken character at the zero at index. Now we'll take the count one. <coughs> We'll make a custom function. Now we have to invert the starting it character. So if starting character was equal equal to zero then we need to give one otherwise we need to give a zero and we have to do a plus one and return the minimum out of this So now it's the time to write the count function. count equal to 0 now we'll iterate from the i equal to 1 to the length of the string Now with the current equal to the pre that means we need to do the count plus plus because it is that case where we need to flip so the count is done plus plus otherwise and c of pre will be also changing in this case c of pre is becoming c of pre if it was zero then it will become one otherwise it will become zero okay the else part is complete now here we need not to flip so the c pre will simply become the current and we can return the count Let's try to run it for the sample test cases. The string run finds for the sample test cases. Let's run for the hidden test cases as well. So yeah, passes the good time complexity. The time complexity for this solution is O of n, where n is the length of the input string and the space complexity is constant here. So the space complexity is O of 1 as we are using a constant amount of space you can see. And uh, you can also check my C++ Python and JavaScript code by going into the solutions panel. And uh, maybe you can get my solution. This is my solution. So you can go here, watch this consists of the ex explanation, intuition, approach, complexity, the Java code, C++ code, Python code, JavaScript code, and yes, a kitty to upvote me. So I hope you upvote me. Thank you for watching the video. Please do like the video, share it with your friends, and subscribe to the channel if you're new to the channel. Thank you. Have a nice day.